Hello, it's B. Welcome if you're new here. Welcome back if you're not. We're going to be playing Dredge today. Um, I've never played this game. I haven't watched anything about it. I've skipped everything that I've seen. That way I'd be going in blind. This might be a little quiet. I'm not sure. No, I think that's good. <gasps> the morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you clapped the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say the dramatic first impression. No, I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out, of there, to out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your get your bearings in the light uh, pursuit added finally i don't suppose i need to say this but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in keep a close eye on the time it can really creep up on you <coughs> catch fish for the day um i wonder if I can use my controller for this. Oh, I can't. Um, we'll see. I might actually just use my reward. <laughs> I did I'm just try it. Okay. Ooh, I see. Um sorry. <laughs> uh, and then F to start fishing. I'll press F at the right time to reload in faster. I see. Okay. Got a blue mackerel. Okay. Another blue mackerel. Did I have to fill up my cargo? Is that what it said? It'll take ages. <laughs> Oops. Oh, fuck. There we go. Another blue mackerel. So, X to leave. The time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. What does that do? I saw a question mark by it. Oh shit, don't hit the rocks. What is this? Um, a floating buoy, it serves to mark safe passage Past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Okay. Shallow. I don't have the right equipment for this spot. 
What about this one? This one also looks like it might be shallow. It kind of looks the same. Oh, nope. Okay. Ooh, I got a cod. Oh, and they're big. Okay, we'll put you right there. Oh shit, I was not watching. My bad. Another cod, put you right there. Uh, fuck. God damn it. Depleted. Put you right there. Select your lights by holding E and then just toggle with them. Oh. Ah, I gotcha. I wonder if I should go back, because it's getting dark. Um. <gasps> Ooh, squid. Shit. Okay. Oh no. Oh. Alright, let's go back. Here, a foghorn echo. Interesting. Oh, what was that? Okay, I do have to hold it. <coughs> you step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, old boat is too badly damaged to repair. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand that you might not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debtors are paid, a tiny portion of your fish, sale, fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. <sighs> So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Where do I sell the fish? Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go, then sell those fish while they're still fresh. Um... Let's go over $50 remaining. Only $50 for a boat? That's insane. Not realistic. <laughs> <laughs> you enter a squalid, a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly hap around a downcast man behind the counter. <sighs> You are the new fisherman, huh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? <laughs> he... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just more worth, worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on, work on paying it off first. So let's see what you got. I have one of these. One of these. Ooh, I see. So, the cod are the most expensive. I can just hold F to sell off fish. <gasps> nice. Fifteen ninety two. mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. 
Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you can make use out of it. Why don't you take it? Uh, a curious looking component. It could be used to develop new equipment. But would need some investigation at a dock first. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Mm. Use parts to research new equipment. Researched equipment will appear for sale in shops. How do I use... I'm afraid to click any of these. Okay, there we go. Hydraulic rod now available in stores. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Uh, you must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is upfront and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hole she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around, just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Um. I think everything I have right now is just fine. Um. I guess I don't. Well, those are both cracked, though. Those are cloudy. Um, better than a candle, which I guess is what I have, huh? Did it tell me? Oh, I see. I already bought it. <laughs> That's okay. I don't think I have anything repair. Okay. Ship's owner payment. 2873. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. It tells you what all you found. So, blue mackerel are coastal. I've caught five. Practically worthless, <laughs> but enough to stave off hunger. It tells you I think the biggest that you've gotten and that you've bought them at uh daylight um. <clears throat> okay so squid so squid at least the arrow squid is a night time. I'm interested about the aberrations down at the bottom. Interesting. And there's like exotic ones. Oh, and you can change them. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what this part is. Maybe just like where you buy them, or uh, not buy, but uh, catch them from. No, is it? Cause crab makes it seem like, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um. 
Should we go out? No, actually. Might just rest for now. Does this just mean I can talk to him? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to pay off some of my debts. I want to ask about the wider region. What happened to the last fisherman? Hmm, the last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running around on the reef. Even in broad daylight, the shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening, he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Now what else can I do for you? I want to ask about the wider region. Certainly, is there somewhere in particular you wish to know more about? Uh, all of them. Uh, we'll start with Gale Cliffs. Well, the main part over there is a place called Ingfell. It's right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left, one way or another. Hmm. Stellar Bison? Basin? It might have been Basin. Quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the uh, Adol built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those. <laughs> Twisted hmm. Strand? Hmm, I don't think there's much to tell. It's just a tangled mass of trees that's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You'd want some good lights and a good sense of direction if you were to go exploring there. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Uh, Devil's Spine. Ah, yes, it's quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst a city of ancient ruins. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie in the water, lie low in the water, and would surely tear it into your hole. Not to mention, the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear rumbling from there. Uh, that's all for now. I'm at the, oh wait, no, that's what I just did, right? I'd like to pay off some of my debt. How much money do I have? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll do ten dollars. Sick. Uh, I should get back to fishing. If I get tabbed, does it tell you? Yeah, it does tell you how much you have. I don't know if it tells you how much debt you have, though. That's okay. Let's go fishing. Fishing games are some of my favorite. They're just so fun. Yeah, I think that's a little brighter. Can I fish here? I can. Ooh, let's see. That looks like, yeah, blue mackerel. Whoops. I wonder if you catch too many fish and your um, inventory gets full. I wonder if you can put those extra fish somewhere else. Uh, X to leave. Uh, this is also... Oh no, this is caught. Sorry. Um, can I rearrange these? I can. Okay. Just put you right there for now. Whoops. I wish you could. Oh, you can rotate them. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's the yellow one, too. <gasps> Ooh. The big guy. Um, so rotated this one. There we go.
go ahead and leave there for now. Can we dock here? That'd be pretty cool. We can. <laughs> uh, ooh, there's a trader. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello, is that? No, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. You got anything today with you, perhaps? I don't. Oh, I have a, my storage place here, too. I wonder... I don't... I don't know if I can get... Like... My stuff... From here. Ooh. Squid? Yes. Um, I don't have any space for a squid, though. Maybe I'll come back for some. That is a lot more light than I had. That's pretty cool. I wonder what that light is over there. Whoops. Oh. A special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. They ask for one gold flounder and one great eel. Just bring them when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. A shipwright should be able to sort that for you. Um, let's go ahead and just sell them all. <sighs> to return to town, the mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring to his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operating again. I've also allocated some money to the to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Alright, let's see. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. You'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber... Metal scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get those? <laughs> There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Okay. I don't have anything like that. I do need to see... Um... Can this handle shallow water? No. So we need to go to the ship, right? Uh -huh. Buy this. Showers, install it. That's okay. Maybe should have gotten that one, but oh well. Just a squid. Uh, rotate. I'll sit you right there. Um. Depleted. I don't see any more. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Uh. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turned and shuffled back along the path that leads to the light. Huh. Mayor. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? We can return to these items later. 
Of course I can. And there I hand you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Some fish prefer deeper water while others stick to the shallows. If you're looking for something specific, it's important to know what depths you're working with. Okay. Mm. How do I view the map? Little arrow. Okay. Should I do it now? I reckon I should. We'll see what happens. Oh, I didn't sleep last night. That's okay. <laughs> What? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hand you some money. $25. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't like, make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. Sustainable fishing. He pulled a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're in the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. Uh, insect. <gasps> Oof. Encyclopedia. Stingray. Oh, I skipped four, five, and six. Okay. Oh, wait. What did that say? Says something about okay. How do you select as active book as time to read? Oh, this one's new. Let's start fishing. Oh, that's one of the fish that we need. A gulf flounder. I'm running out of space. I don't think I have room for another one. Because I can't move any of this stuff. Okay. That sucks. Maybe I can come back out for some more. Yes. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice till you're ready to go. A gray eel. Alright, come back when you have everything. Now to regular business, yeah? Yes, let's sell both of these eel, or uh, not eels, rays. I don't know how you do it every day. These old bones wouldn't cut it on the high seas. Yeah. Okay, so, have I been? I have, okay. No. Depleted. 
that I... Okay. Pick up. I'm gonna put you there. Leave. Those take... Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. These take up a lot of space, so I'm just gonna get the one. Mainly because it was an accident. I want to look for that eel. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Got it. <gasps> Ooh. Trophy catch. Let's see what's right here, I think. Yeah, there's two, well, hold on, there's sparkles here. What is this? The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle, bro brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. <gasps> oh, this is a new one. A black grouper. Oh, there's no space. Shit. Um, can I set this? Oh, cool. Okay. What does this do? Items left here will be lost. Okay, there we go. Ooh, you can't really see the rocks at night. Interesting. That eye kind of moves towards stuff in your way. Or maybe that was just, like, at that time. Okay, fishmonger. I do have stuff for the order. Get the eel over. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They'll be pleased with these. Got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night, and well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Do you have any fish for that order? I do. I have a whole black grouper, and those are just arrow squids. Hmm. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. Rod, reeled, and rigs. Guns. The fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Sold all those fish. Okay, I was checking to make sure that I had all of my stuff hmm. done. Oh man, I'm so close. I'm so close to buying a hydraulic rod. <laughs> so... I guess I would have to uninstall one of these to be able to get this. I wonder if I can get more space. this buy this install it oh shit that's a something about a custom glow I don't know what happened if you sleep or if you don't sleep for too long or if you don't go to sleep <laughs> oh what's that let's turn around actually 
<laughs> Let's just go to bed, actually, because we've not slept for almost a day. Oh, boy. There we go. Now. How do we find shipwrecks? I wonder. I think I want to go out a little further this time. Let's see what's over this way. So, Black Grouper and Flounder. Okay, so we found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Back. 76% complete. That one's almost done. What is here? I bet this is. I bet I need the oceanic one. Shit. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even think about that. I don't know if it'll be there on this next go in either. So let's go ahead. Just fish. Whoops. Locally. <laughs> How much do I have? 270. Fuck. I need... I need 410 for the new... Um... Hydraulic rod. Hmm. I really want to go oceanic fishing though. I don't have a whole lot of room for these. Turn it this way. Whoops. Shit. Um. There we go. I guess we'll just put that there. Yeah, that's all I got for now. This game is really fun. <laughs> I really like uh, fishing games. So it's pretty good, I think. Have you seen that strange red light at night? It seems to be rising from the west. I have. snooze because I need to. <laughs> How much do I have? 375. We're pretty close to getting that that uh, hydraulic rod. it already.
completed. X. I always forget that the button is X to leave them. <gasps> Grotesque mackerel. Oh my goodness. Corrupt scales and bulbous eyes like nothing you've seen before. Interesting. I wonder what that is over there. Oh, shit, there's more there, isn't there? My bad. You go over there by the grotesque mackerel. What's this sparkly thing? And what's this? Dredge. I don't have the right equipment for this spot. Okay. What item? 20th of August. 1987? Is that what that said? This is just a uh, mackerel, but that's okay. I think these are eels. At first I didn't notice that the shadows were different. Now that I keep looking at them, I realize that they are. <laughs> oh shit, I need squid. Damn it, I've not found any. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger's grin, raising the fish up to a face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Ah, uh, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Uh, the macro was $37 and I got the handkerchief in my inventory. Crazy. <laughs> well, I've never seen this before in all my days. I'll give you this thing. I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. Is that the first corrupted fish I've seen in this part, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Oh, I can get the... Ooh. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger, and I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Remember, you don't have all the materials. Oh, right. I have to get something to dredge. I wonder what that is. If you want to get a bit more out of your engines, take a look at this book on the house. Okay. Um. <sighs> Shit. Okay. There we go. Happen. I have 68% of the rod reels and rigs left. Um, I'm gonna meet someone at Blackstone Isle. I need two squid. Well, okay. Oh, messages. 20th of August, 1927. 27, not 87. 
morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today, we're sailing around the isles and inlets at the back of Great Earth. Oh, you can click it for more. <laughs> at the back of Greater Merrill. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I should so I know he will keep his hand on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you wait till lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket, half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. No notes? Nope. Okay. Not for the encyclopedia. It was the grotesque mackerel, I suppose. Okay. A once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the inside of a grotesque fish, patterned with a delicate crimson thread. I suppose we'll go to Black Isle today. Oh, Fishman, have you run into a photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggested she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Um, Black Isle over there. It looks like that might be it. There's another message over this way as well. Oh, what is this? A bronze whaler. It looks like a shark to me. Ooh, we can put you right there. Perfect. Let's go this way. I wish we could speed up a little bit. Oops. 21st of August, 1927. Uh, that looks like... God. Yes. Okay. And a whole lot of them as well. Whoops. There we go. Interesting. Let's go this way. <laughs> Rod, reels, and rigs. Reading completed. Alright, now is this it? Oops, I didn't mean to click messages. Yeah, okay. Is this the dock? Yes, okay, cool. Ruined mansion. Oh, but there's a workshop. The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. It's locked. Okay. <laughs> you don't have the handkerchief with you. The man seemed interested in it, so you should probably bring it. The man is standing in the doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curious the object 
uh, Curiosa Octopi, the Periphery of Desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. The patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving this is proving to be a challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. That's just what I need. <laughs> Find me those lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Yes. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we are looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Um, I reckon it's okay if, to make it out the back that way. I think I'll be okay. There's also... Ooh, what's... I think this was a wreck. Or a place that I can dredge from. Yeah. I press F to... Oh, okay. I'm gonna press F to avoid gaps. Perfect. We're just gonna head back to uh, the Black Isle. Ooh. What was that? Ooh, what's that? There's so many sparkly things. I'm afraid to go that way though. Oh, that's the panic thing? What is it? Take a look at these trinkets. Oh, so that's not what you were talking about? Okay. Well, we're gonna take a good little resty rest here. Actually, since that's not... Oh no, my stuff is stale. My bad. Undock. There we go. So I, I guess that's why there's a trinket salesman as well. <laughs> that makes sense. I know there's a place to dredge over this way. leave something there it'll be lost whoops there we go i'm really sorry that i let my fish get stale fishmonger but I, like will you still buy them <laughs> how's the weather lately almost makes you not want to get out of bed but you and i we've got to do it huh we are what keep the people from going hungry Lighthouse Keeper, what is it? You don't have any shipwrecks around here. She eyes you suspiciously. Mm. There's a spot near the back of Greater Merrill where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural grow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best to just move on. Mm. There's some Blackstone Isle. I see a laugh from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural grow glow flicker through the, those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto mm. your face. Are you really standing here in front of me, or is this just another of the fog's tricks? Okay, I should go. Approach a woman sitting on the dark uh, dock side staring out to the sea. She turns mm. to you. What's it like out there? It's peaceful. 
Gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward. Moving along. Can't go back. <laughs> She's gazing out to sea again. Lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. Mayor. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Shipwrecks, unfortunately, there have been quite a few in recent years. The lighthouse helps, but even it struggles to cut through the fog some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur this side of the island. That should make fishing a bit easier for you. Around the back, though, it's a little harder to get to. There are still some wrecks toward the deeper patches. You'll want to avoid that area. What do you know about any strange regions? Well, I heard that my counterpart and Little Marrow met and met the most unfortunate end. They say he went mad quite suddenly. One day he was normal, the next he was pacing the shoreline, hurling people's belongings into the sea. After some days like this, he disappeared. Never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mayor is used to scare children. Not many remember him, myself included. And those that do remember... And those that do remember don't seem to like, to like talking about it. A most unpleasant subject. Okay, I should get back to fishing. that in there and we're going to undock pursuits search for relics uh 57 for being seated what did this message say 21st of august 1927 we had a slight accident ye yesterday around the shallows at the back of greater barrow a rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat remaining, renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. I think we'll make it out to Blackstone Isle and rest there and then try to make it towards the back of Greater Marrow. That seems to be where everything's pointing me to. I mean, won't catch any fish so they don't go stale or gross. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, okay. That doesn't seem too bad. Go ahead and rest throughout the night. Ooh. Oh, there's a big old guy over here. This looks like the bronze whaler again, but I don't know if that's what it is or not. We shall find out. Another trophy catch. The bronze. Oh shit, there's another one. Why not? Hopefully, we can make it back. Oh, is that a. Yeah, that looked like a dredging spot. Shapes in the deep. Perfect. 
Oh, I can still dredge. I don't have, I don't have my shallow fishing rod. Oh, what's that? I wonder if I should be doing this. <laughs> I can dredge. Ooh. Okay, I can move this over here. So, okay, I found one of the relics. Now we have to get back because it's getting late. Those are in fact fish, okay. Oh, what's this? The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. <gasps> the cold stone does not respond to your touch, okay. Just curious. We should probably remain close to this. Is that another sparkle? It is. Uh, expect. Inspect. <laughs> All that's left of the boat is an old, old husk. You pull a little closer. Ooh, a research part. A ring. Chain. I get rid of our fish to take those oh, I can return to these later okay cool I can come back and get those okay we gotta tread carefully I wonder what that is better steer clear of it I'm really curious though. We need to get like. Okay. <gasps> Snag squid. Oh, is that how you like make sure you get aberrations? Ooh, hello. Monger. Keep an eye out for larger fish. They'll feed more mouths so I can pay you more for them. <laughs> Tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellowed crooked teeth. The top rows are flattened like human molars. <laughs> Modify two cargo spaces to also hold rods. Modify four rod spaces to also hold nets. Modify two cargo spaces to also hold engines. Modify one cargo space to also hold lights. Okay. My sword. So this stuff can all go to storage. For now. I have another research part. I should probably use that right now, actually, the research part. Uh. Where did I use the research parts at? Shit. Uh. Uh. Oh my god. Where did the... I've already forgotten. How do I? Oh, right here. <laughs> okay. Um, volcanic and shallow mangrove coastal. Coastal, shallow, and oceanic. Okay, so I don't have these yet. I see this is the only one I have. So I could do coastal 
and shallow. That way I wouldn't have to use two fishing poles for both of them. That'd be nice. Okay, let's go ahead and rest. And then we'll go back for that uh, lumber. And maybe we'll go turn that relic in. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> This is another relic. A slab of rock juts out from the water, bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. Huh. Return to the slaver. Interesting. Okay. Oh, what's this over here? Um, Encyclopedia, the snag squid. Get out of there. Let's go to the map. Okay, so I am headed to a map marker. Okay, so I don't have metal scraps. I do see some stuff over here. There's a shipwreck. I don't like the sound. Um, I don't know why. Maybe I'll just get the wood back that I just used on that. <laughs> Is that back? Alright. Depleted. What is this? Huh. Ooh, a goblet. There's something over here as well. <laughs> it's here for the night. Ooh, why are you... Why do you look like that? That's not what you usually look like. There's another dredge area over here. <gasps> Ooh, this is new fish, though. Big guy. Um, there we go. All right, well, let's hope uh, whatever is over here is not that big. <laughs> takes up four spots. Okay. I might not be able to fit all of it, but I can fit most of it. Let's see. Shit. I was hoping to turn this. Looks 
looks like I'm going to lose the goblet, but that's okay. Because that could just be sold. Um. I don't think I'll have space for this. <gasps> oh my god, I have a storage over here. Damn it. I wish I could access the storage without having to dock. Like, just boat over. Oh, there is no storage box here. Oops. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so this one's small. I got some earrings. I didn't think that when I looked down at the recording time that it was going to say an hour and a half. I thought it was going to say like 40 minutes. This game is so fun. <laughs> okay, fishmonger first. So this giant ass fish. Ooh, that was a nice amount. Uh, get out of here. Get my storage. Take this. ring. Just a pair of earrings, each holding a single pearl. Junk to the entry die, but there's good metal here, so I'm gonna pay for this. And gold always has its value. He's on the other island. While I'm at it, I'm gonna start to put down some stuff for upgrading my ship. I don't know if I need this stuff to upgrade. We're gonna bring it along just in case. Could be used for a vessel demon, uh, vessel renovations. Yeah, okay. Whoops, and pick that ring back up. Okay. Mmm. Two cargo spaces to also hold rods. Four rod spaces to also hold nuts. Two for engine or one for light. I think this one would be good. Oh, we can do this now. Sick. Which is a free total for $95. I can do this one too. Cool. And I need two metal, one wood. Or two wood, one metal. Okay. I wonder if it's worth it to just go across. It's like it's not that big of a deal, I think. Like, it's not quite night yet. We'll see, I suppose. Ooh, squid. I need squid. I need squid. anything lately? I sure have. Uh, grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see. My only son was lost at sea some months, some years ago. He's still out there somewhere, in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed in your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think I'd feel more at peace if his memories were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. Anything else I can help you with? What do you know about strange occurrences? I don't go out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of anything goes on. 
but I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was, screaming and throwing things to the sea. Throw it back, he would cry, over and over, begging anyone who would listen, howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. I had better go. Back worker. Ever process shipments from Blackstone uh. Isle? Bevel Ruin? Doubt it. Uh, let's see. We've looked through a large logbook. It appears to be a record of ship manifests. Shipping manifests. Thought so. It doesn't even have a shipping address. As far as I know, nobody lives there. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? I know there were a few around the eastern side of the island. Mostly rotted away. Uh, by now I'd expect. Or dashed apart by the waves. Poor souls keep hitting rocks in the fog, I guess. There's a blind spot back there where the lighthouse can't be seen. People get, people get turned around. What do you know about any strange occurrences? Mm. I overheard a tale in the tavern some years ago. It sounded pretty strange to me. Supposedly, some 20, year, 20 odd years ago, a fisherman from these parts hauled up an old sealed casket from the seafloor. They pried it open and looked, took, a, took what was inside for themselves. That very night, the fog rolled in for the first time, and it had cooked the seas every night since. What was in that accursed casket, nobody knows. All of the crew that laid eyes on its content went mad, or worse. The, ca the casket and crew have since disappeared without a trace, but the fog remains. Crazy stuff, huh? What else can I do for ya? What's it like working on the docks or being a dock worker or whatever? I forgot to read it. <laughs> as changeable as the weather. Most days it's pretty quiet. The pay's not too great, but the work's straightforward. That suits to a T. It's good to get that fresh sea breeze without actually being on the water. No offense, but you wouldn't get me out on these seas every day. Uh, I'd better go. These guys are still fresh. Um, I need to go put this, bring this key to that guy. Ooh, you know what I could do? Install this. Haha. -ha. Uh, undock. We're gonna try our best here. Oh, this sun's coming up. Cool. I do have fish for that order. I have two squid. Fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. I didn't think you had it in you. Knife fishing is a tall order. I'm meaning to talk to you about a new business venture. I've been considering hmm. crab pots. I've got one here for you. It's a bit banged up, but you could get it fixed at the shipwreck. Okay, put that there. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere, then come back after a day or two and check on it. Got a customer after fiddler, fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. So... Okay, so I can buy some new ones as well. So they're a hundred dollars. Buy a few. Select the crab pot ability with E and deploy one with but need repairing every so often. Okay. Um let's put one right here maybe. Maybe I won't forget where I put it. didn't go there, I see. Alright. And then, what about... Can I put one here? What about... Let's put one a little bit deeper. Let's see what happens then. Yeah, like there. Okay. Meanwhile, let's catch some oceanic fish. Oh, I need to go sell these guys. Shit. So it's said to check them every couple of days. 
It doesn't tell you when you laid it down, so... The 11th. <laughs> Damn it, they went stale. That's okay. It's a mansion. He went to the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmered a strange sign as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision, and you stagger back briefly. Ability unlocked. Haste. Otherworldly speed at a price. Now go. We have more relic to uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast towards Gilk's Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Words you read from that book. What did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? Haste, because that's the only one that's happened. <laughs> the words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however. It may put a great deal of stress on your engines. Ugh. That's not good. How long have you lived here? Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before. But two decades ago, I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavors. Do you know who owned these relics? Yes. Who? He looks at you. For a moment, a look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. An old friend. Anything else? Nothing. I will be going. I can select haste to add speed. Um, I think I was going to rest here, actually. This might also be where I just end this episode today. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you next time. Bye!